Hello, babies. Hello, babies. So today I am kind of going through my day, I guess. Um, so here is just like a quick little intro. I'm going to do my makeup. I don't really know what and I haven't planned, but I'm going to talk about skincare a little bit today because it's super important. And for some reason, my skin feels amazing and soft today. Um, and to be perfectly honest, all I did was wash it with a washcloth like a couple times. Like it just felt amazing. So like I kept washing it. I love washcloths, um, utilize them, fresh one every single time. You wash your face and it's just, mm, get that yucky stuff off. Even after you cleanse, like it just feels really good. So, um, I do make this product, it's called Me To A Tea. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll focus, focus, focus. Maybe, I can't tell, um, cause I don't have my glasses on. But this is the only moisturizer that I use. Um, I made this out of necessity because I do not like petroleum products. I try to use them as little as I possibly can. So um, I use this to tattoo with, to heal my tattoos, and um, just amazing simple skincare. There's only six ingredients in it. Um, and it's phenomenal and I love it. My clients love it and yeah, that's kind of what the deal is. Anyway, this is the only moisturizer that I use on my face. So, it just feels so good. Okay, so the ingredients are shea butter, coconut oil, <sighs> aloe oil, beeswax, green tea, witch hazel. Do I get, and honey. So there's seven ingredients in the entire thing. It's simple, it's light, and it's everything in it has a purpose. It's, it's really good for your skin. I got this probably six months ago or more. This tattoo here healed amazing. It healed like in days and for being on the neck that is incredible, incredible, incredible. So, just checking my time, um, and I do start with the, this. I love rose water, and it just feels so good. It smells good. It's refreshing, but I use that as like pre-spray. Usually, I do that before I'm on moisturizer, but I forgot, and I didn't want to miss out on it today. So that's how that is. Okay. So lately, what I've been doing for <clears throat> my foundation is this. It's the Fit. And I change that up a little bit depending on the time of year. I'm starting to get a little tan, so I may or may not have to bump that up a little. Pull the other one out just in case. Always nice to have shades and shape tape because concealer. Um, and by the way, there's no reason for me to do my makeup today. I'm just doing it because, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. When my nanny and good friend takes my son, um, this is some of my self care. It's just putting makeup on and feeling really good. So that's what's happening today. Just, just so you know, um, I was using these sticks for a while and I don't, I don't really like them. I, they, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Um, they, I think accentuate your pores more than they actually do help conceal and um hello that's not what we want so okay i'm putting this under my eyes to brighten don't need a ton of this stuff like it goes a long way um 
get the tip of my nose because it's always got this like red dot thing going on. Anywhere I got some blemishes happening. I have lots of freckles that come out in the summertime too. So there's that. But and then I just want to like you know pat more than you want to smear. Those ones are a little bit extra on there. Do, 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 do. Second. Smooth. some on my hands so I'm just gonna put it where ever okay okay I've been using this brush lately for my foundation because it's amazing it's soft and um This might be getting a little too light for me. Sure, I got it kind of everywhere. Okay. Always get the ear because it ever stands out, depending on how you wear your hair really weird if it's not the same color so like you know hit it hit it okay you guys and I'm not like super entertaining or anything but I try okay now I'm gonna blend for real I've got it everywhere Lips are dry. Some setting powder. <clears throat> Running out with the Too Faced. Is there something stuck to it? It's totally a bobby pin. It's so cute, of course. <clears throat> and there's bobby pins everywhere. And going under, not on my eye. So I'm going to go in with 
eyeshadows next. Everyone does everything different. You might think I'm doing it wrong. I might be doing it wrong, but the reason I do this is if I have fallout from my eyeshadows, I don't have to worry about it because I have yet to go in. Um, well, I'm going to do my eyeshadows next, but then I'll have yet to go in and do powder and um, some contouring so I can fix it if I have anything weird or whatever. Okay. Ba -da -da -da. Music in the background is by Jewel Rook. I will link below. Hopefully you can hear it at least a little bit when I'm not talking. Okay. Don't know what to do then. Let's see. What do I want to do for eyebrows? So I used the Too Faced Banana Cream Setting Powder to set my foundation. Um, color except for gray but I'm gonna go in with Anastasia palette <clears throat> and hit my eyebrows first because they're dark likely outside. I'm sorry you guys. I'm trying to talk louder. I'm trying to be better at this. I'm no good at any of the technology stuff. And like, yeah. So bear with me. I'm sure over some time I'll get a little better. Or people will show me some secrets. Maybe. We'll see. So I'm using green because my hair is green. And I'm just using... My shadow because I don't feel like penciling them in today. It's way too much work. And the green matches my hair. I know I'm weird. I'm weird. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. But, um, yeah. Because if you don't like it, you don't have to watch me. And that's totally fine. Totally fine. So. Like when you do the shadow, you don't get super sharp, but I don't care because like, just have that girl. So, um, a dark green shadow going on today on my brows. What I want to do? Just shadow. Here comes my bad cat. Please not 